Hey guys, it's Nadine. So I'm here to share with you guys something. Um, if you follow me on IG and here as well, you know that I have been recently obsessed <laughs> with a thing called the Spiral Decks, and this is what it looks like. This is a spin-off um, made by Ken from Oz, and who uh, took the concept, original concept from Patrick Ng. And uh, he uses the Chrono Deck system. He's a creator, or not really the creator, but uh, Patrick Ng took the Chrono Deck concept off of someone else and um, made it in such a way that it is good to visually rep show representation of your day. Then Kent from Oz took it even further and made it more visually pleasing and more user friendly in my opinion anyway. And I will link all of these things. Anything I'm talking about in this video is gonna be linked below. So now, <clears throat> I have been using this for, mm, let me see, last month and a half, I think, this system in my Filofax, and I just love it. I'm going to show you guys how I use it, or I've shown you guys how I use it, um, or how I use it, but I will show you guys how I've transformed it a little bit, okay? Now, mind you, it's nothing genius, okay, because I am not a genius at all, um, but it's just I've tweaked it in such a way that it works in my Filofax, and um, it works in conjunction with what I already have working in my Filofax, okay? So, uh, let me not delay. So, this is what the Spiral Dex looks like. And let me just say this. Initially, um, let me open <clears throat> up my Filofax and show you guys what one of my pages looks like. Um, let me find a page <clears throat> that I can actually show you. Okay. So, initially, it looks like this. This is what it looks like in my Filofax, okay? And as you can see, I love it on graph paper, and I use it in conjunction with my day per page, okay? But I only this thing is one-sided, and then I didn't like that. Well... So I had to figure out another system. So what I was usually using initially was this paper that I got from Office Max. And this is, it says extra heavy 20 pound paper, but 20 pound is not really that heavy. Um, and this is actually graph paper or grid paper, as some of you like to call it. And I love it. I do love it. And so what I was doing was I would simply... Um, cut the paper down to size that would fit into my A5, okay? And then I would print, put it in my uh, computer printer tray and then print out the spiral decks that I got from Ken's website. Now, the thing about Ken's, web Ken's website is that he has, the one that I took off from his website, what I did was I um, took a screenshot of it and then I altered it in um, Photoshop elements, but the one that I happened to use didn't have, I noticed that some of his had uh, his watermark on it or his copyright, but the one I took didn't have it. And, and so when I altered it, I didn't take off his watermark. I just simply removed the date on it and that was it. <clears throat> um, so this is the initial page that I started using. So like I said, I cut it down, took this paper, cut it down and printed it. Okay. But the thing that I don't like is that it is only on one side. So you see that? And this paper is only one-sided graph paper. The other side is actually line paper, which wasn't really working out for me because if you have two of these pages... So <clears throat> let me show you another area in my file of facts that I was finding a little bit annoying. Um, let me see. <clears throat> okay, for instance, here's another one. So here's a page, okay? And... You can see, okay, so this is this page, this spiral decks page corresponds to the 26th of my day per page, okay? But then I had to make another page like this, okay? And what I did was, you see how it's back to back, and I had to put them together like this. So one side is like this, I'd punch holes on this side, the other side is like this, and I'd punch, have to punch holes on this side. Okay, that's really not that great because what it does is as you continue to add more pages to your filofax hello it bulks it up okay as you can see my filofax is like bulky as i'll get up okay <clears throat> so i didn't like that i'm like ah that's not really you know doing what i want to do so what i did was i did a couple of things i actually bought graph paper from 
Filofax and um, let me grab all my <clears throat> goodies here. So I, I went online and I went to Filofax and I purchased their graph paper, which is great because it's double sided graph paper. Okay. The bad thing about this is the paper quality is a little thin and so when you're trying to feed it through your computer printer, it actually eats your paper versus printing it out nicely. Um, <clears throat> so I was like not really happy with that. Then I went to um, Office Max again and I asked them to make a copy of this and um, make it double sided which they did and this is actually on 32 pound paper okay but the guy that did my paper I think he was a novice and he made it on um, gloss paper which if you don't have a laser printer and you're trying to print at home um, what it does is your paper your ink will smear so that's what was happening is my ink was smearing and I was a little bit perturbed because I actually ended up, you know, I, I ordered a lot of this double-sided graph paper from Office Max. Okay, so that was a fail, epic fail. Um, <clears throat> then the next thing I did was I, um, through, through um, who was it? To Aunt Annie, uh, Sugar Panda times three, um, she mentioned she had purchased some stuff from this girl named Pia and I was like oh my gosh so I saw Pia's shop which let me just show you guys this and this is Pia's information oh come on focus and um, I had asked Pia if she made double-sided graph paper on just plain white because she actually had the colors when colored ones shown on her um, website and she said yeah she could make that for me so I was like oh awesome so she made these for me which is double-sided and <clears throat> it's you know I love it too but again the quality of paper or the I like the um, paper weight I think this is like again 20 I like the paperweight, but I'm like, I wanted it just to be a little bit thicker so that you wouldn't see um, my writing or whatever. It wouldn't be see-through, okay? So I was like, okay, I love that idea, but it's still not working for me. Um, but I still highly recommend uh, Pia's site, and I will link her in the description box below as well. And I'm going to use these for another idea that I have that I will share with you guys later on. Okay, so then <clears throat> I went back to um staples recently and i had them print me up um so what i did was i took my master copy which is the initial paper that i got from office max the 32 pound paper uh the gloss paper what i did was i ran it through my printer I actually printed the spiral decks on here I let this thing dry for like <laughs> like half of a damn day no joke okay and then I took this to Staples and I told them that I wanted double-sided um, cut down to the a size a5 size okay so they did that for me which is awesome <clears throat> so this is what they did and this is what I've come up with and I wanted to share it with you all I'm not selling it by any means this is just for my own personal use but this can give you guys an idea for those of you who are Filofaxers, Filofax fanatics like myself, and who have recently found the Spiral Decks from Kent. Um, this is what I've done. So this is an A5 size uh, on 32 pound paper. And as you can see, it's printed on both sides. I love it. Um, because now all I need to do is I already have these made. So this is going to be like one page for two days which is awesome and i'm going to show you guys how i incorporate that into my file of facts okay so let me show you how it looks in my file of facts this is for friday and then this will be saturday um and then as you can see it's so beautiful because now i just have one page that is easily accessible and like this will correspond to here and this will correspond to here and as you can see I have my MRI scheduled because they keep pushing it back but that's another whole thing that I will update you guys with that's not happening here because my stinking insurance didn't approve my MRI which is really pissing me off but anyway um so like I have it which is perfect you can flip through you know you flip it it'll this one corresponds to this this corresponds to this um, I will have all my notes and what I've been doing is um, I stamp 
my planet stamp um, which I have shown in my IG picture which I will insert a picture in here how that looks I love the planet stamps um, here's an example of a page that I had stamped already which is a completely different one but I have like don't forget up here and I have stars that says don't forget I have an appointment here you know the appointment word there I have my to do thing that I'm going to and I like these little circles they have circles squares and stars that you can actually that are open opened you know <clears throat> so that you can like check them off I have a section for emails I have sections you know a little area that says to call down here I have the fork knife and spoon so that I can menu plan um, and that's how I use my planet stamp in here but I mean I just love that that now I have my system down perfectly again this is printed on um, I think it's 30 I'm pretty sure it's 32 pound paper um, and then it's double-sided so there you have it this is how I have finally figured out the way my spiral decks is going to go into my planner that's already pre-made so that way i can just grab papers shove it in here you know punch the holes and be done with it i just i'm really really loving it so um if you have any questions let me know and i'm going to link everything and everyone in the description box below i hope you guys have a great day i'll talk to you later take care bye